Hi, this is Tracy HD, and I want to thank you for joining me today for another weekly Oracle and Tarot card reading. And this reading will cover June 18th through the 24th. We're using the very beautiful Flower Therapy deck and how appropriate for the summer to be using this deck. And I just received this. I can't believe that I overlooked this deck. Um, I'm very glad that I purchased it. I've been working with the cards, which are exactly resonating with me and spot on each day. And I thought I would just share this deck this week with you all. If you'd like to see the review, uh, you could check that out as well on my channel under the playlists. And let's get started with the reading. As I shuffle the deck, I'm asking all light beings, angels, and God, please relay the message I need to share with my viewers for the highest good of all. And for the beginning of the week, we have balance, work, rest, and play. And for the middle of the week, card from the center, share the message of love. And for the end of the week, we have your wishes are coming true. So how beautiful we start the week off with the yellow rose. And it's gorgeous. And the card reads, it's important for you to have fun along with fulfilling your responsibilities. And that is so true. I have to catch myself all the time, overworking myself, draining my energy, driving myself to the ground. I need to balance it out. And a lot of you out there do as well, especially with it being the beginning of the week. We hit the ground running. Monday morning is busy for everyone, whether you're a stay-at-home mom someone who goes out into the workforce, um, this card really, really is very important for all of you out there that are overworking yourself and not making enough time for yourself. We need balance in our life. When things get out of balance, that's when we start feeling drained, exhausted. It starts taking a toll on us mentally. It affects us physically. This card is telling someone out there that their life is out of balance. We're so busy doing everything for everyone else. We need to make time for us, okay? Equal amount of work and play. And then the next card for the middle of the week is the daffodil. Beautiful. Another yellow flower. Yellow is so cheerful. I just feel this energy of just happiness when I get these yellow cards. And this one is saying... Rivers of love flow within you and others may benefit from your healing energy. Be mindful of each word that passes your lips. Yes, our words, once they're spoken, cannot be taken back. And I know a lot of people speak without thinking. Myself <laughs> used to do that all the time. But when I'm thinking of responding to someone, especially if it's in a I don't want to say an argument, but maybe a, a difficult conversation I'm having. I kind of think about what the person said. I pause for a moment before I choose my words to speak. And this card is telling you that, you know, maybe you're going to have an encounter with someone who may not be happy about something, may want to, you know, set something straight. Whatever you do, speak words of kindness because the energy we put out there will be the energy that we get back. And I mean, I, I could sense somebody's energy just sitting across the room from someone. I, I could just feel it. And I'm sure all of you out there are the same way where you could sense, you know, exactly what's coming. So this is telling you to choose your world, words carefully uh, this week and, um, and, and, and putting out a positive energy and a positive vibe is so important as well. And then at the end of the week, we have sweet pea. What a beautiful flower. I love the pink and the green leaves. And this card is saying, your wishes are coming true. What you have been longing for is getting closer each day. Absolutely. You know, sometimes when we don't see anything materializing uh, and we're putting in all of the hard work and the effort and we're disciplined and it just doesn't seem like anything's appearing, you know, in our earthly realm, trust me. Things are lining up. Everything is in divine timing and divine order for your highest good. So this is telling me someone out there needs to realize not to give up. Too many people not seeing results quick enough or quick enough or fast enough. I mean, we're all impatient when we're looking for some kind of progress, myself included. We've got to sit back and be patient. 
It's coming. Whatever it is that you've been working on or wanting is coming, but it has to be in the right timing. Too many people give up right before their breakthrough. And, you know, if something is worth having, I truly feel that it's worth the wait and the hard work you put in. If something comes easily, it's not as, how could I say, I don't want to say not appreciated, but it seems like we appreciate things so much more when we've worked long and hard and we put in the time that we needed to. What a beautiful message. Whatever your heart's been longing for is getting closer, so don't give up. If you've enjoyed this reading, please subscribe to my channel because I will be back.